Hello everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Today I'm creating a reveal wheel card using the Wheelie Great Day set. It's kind of a tongue twister for me, but it's such a cute set and I'm pairing it with the Coaster Critters flip-flop images as well as the previously released Coaster Critters stamp set. Before we start creating, I just wanted to show you what that's gonna look like. This little reveal wheel will spin to share a few little messages on that little ticket window that I created. And so we are gonna start by stamping and coloring all of our images. So I had the little flip-flop set on the side there, as you can see, and I also pulled out the previously released coaster critters that coordinates just because I wanted the critters to be facing different directions for more interest. And then we have the balloons and cotton candy, which is so much fun from the original set. So it'll just help create our scene and make everything a bit more colorful. I have my marker cap set to the side if you're interested in the color combinations, but I'm going through this pretty fast. So if you're interested in all of the combinations that I used for these critters, as well as the rest of the images, be sure to check out the coordinating blog post where I'll list it all for your convenience and things will be linked. Everything will be super easy for you to see. I don't know about you, but critters are usually browns or grays, and it's not so much fun for me to color. So I'm a little excited about this little green frog. And then once we get through all the critters, I'm just gonna dot their cheeks with some blush, and then we can start making everything else a little bit more colorful. As I pull in some pinks, teals, and blues for the cotton candy and these balloons, I'm also gonna get the chance to pull in more colorfuls to create a rainbow out of our Ferris wheel. But really quick for this ticket booth, I'm gonna do some simple browns that I used on the bear, and then I'll make the awning red and white. And while I have the red out, I'm gonna color my first little Ferris wheel cab, and then we'll move on to the yellow, again pulling in the teal, and then I'm gonna do blues and purples. For the rest of the Ferris wheel, I wanted a more metallic color, so I'm using some grays, and I'm using the same warm grays that I used on the little kitty. I wanted to keep my markers a little bit more cohesive, so I'm reusing as many colors as possible. So I'm using the lighter grays on the frame of those Ferris wheel cabs, and then I'll use the darker grays to blend out the framing of the Ferris wheel. I added a bit of light blue to the windows of the cabs and I finished with some red at the center of the Ferris wheel. Last but not least, I'm gonna color these tickets to kind of give them a golden color using some yellow shades. And I'm not gonna color the inside of this larger ticket because I'm gonna cut a window out of it anyway. So we're gonna use that to create our little ticket window for the reveal wheel. Once I've die cut everything, I'm gonna use my Sakura Jelly Roll pen and just add some white gel highlights all over all of the images. The images are tiny, but I like to give the little cheeks a bit of dot where the blushes are and then just add a few lines here and there where there's room. Now we're gonna set that aside and work on our reveal wheel. We have the rectangle or the original reveal wheel set, and so we're gonna use a few pieces from that, and then I'll use the reveal wheel rectangle window add-on to die cut a window through our little ticket that we colored. So these are the four dies that are gonna create our interactive element today. I'm die cutting the first three elements in white cardstock because they don't need to be colorful. That first main base is going to be um, in the background of our mechanism, so I don't need it to be colorful just yet. For the front panel, I'm gonna ink blend some clouds. I'm using the cloudy stencil and I'm ink blending peacock feathers all the way down, just turning my stencil um, counterclockwise with every turn. And then at the very bottom, I'm cutting a one inch grassy border. I'm gonna add a bit of peacock feathers on that just to give it a little bit more depth. And then I'll use mowed lawn over the rest of it. Now we're ready to die cut the top of our reveal wheel panel. Usually the spinner is on the top right. So I flipped it because I want my little display window to be at the bottom. So I'm putting that little window into that little notch and then I'll die cut that entire panel out. So that way the clouds are going the right direction and now we need to die cut that window into that little ticket as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just layering it underneath to where I want it to be cut and then I'll put my window over that entire panel until it notches in the right place and then die cut again to get that window into that ticket. I hope that makes sense. I also use that reveal wheel die to die cut the same stitching through my grassy panel as well to get that stitching all the way around my card. 
Now that grass does stick up a little bit into that window, so I used my scissors and trimmed those little tiny blades of grass that pop through, and then I'll adhere my little ticket over that window. That window for the ticket barely fits, but I'm glad it works out for this scene because that's how I envisioned it and I was determined to make it work. Now that our front panel is ready to go, we can go ahead and create our reveal wheel mechanism. First, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I'm using the reveal wheel rectangle and virtual friends template. That's the little stencil. And I lined it up on my reveal wheel white panel and I've adhered it together to make sure that it doesn't move when I have it in my MISTI, and I'm making sure to stamp my sentiments upside down from the top so that when they spin, they'll be right side up at the bottom. I hope that makes sense because I had to do this twice. The first time around, I stamped it completely upside down. That's why I already have some foam adhesive on my little reveal wheel disc. So as you can see to assemble this, I put a brad through that little disc and then through the front of my reveal wheel and then added some foam adhesive at the bottom on that disc only. So now I've lined it up, making sure that my sentiment fits perfectly in that window. And technically, if it aligns perfectly, we used a template so the other sentiments will be fine too. And once it's aligned, I'm gonna press that reveal wheel onto that back panel. So you don't have to die cut that panel again. You can also adhere this directly to a card base or whatever you like. Cutting a second panel just helps with alignment because they're exactly the same size and that notch is there. And then I added little foam squares all around that panel so that I can apply that top panel on top. And we're just gonna make sure that our reveal wheel will turn successfully without any hindrance. And then I can set up my scene on the front of this card. And if you want to, you could have colored the space for those sentiments in the same yellows so it looks like a golden ticket as you move the reveal wheel. But I didn't do that, I just left it white. And now I'm setting up my scene with all of my images and critters. For the critters in the Ferris wheel, I cut off the bottom white portion on all of those images because I wanted it to look more seamless without that white border at the bottom where the critters hands are. So it makes them look like they're actually a part of the cab and it was meant to be that way that they were inside the cabs peeking out. And then for the sentiment, I stamped a sentiment on mermaid cardstock and I'm setting that at the top of my scene where there's space. And I was going to adhere this over a white card base, but I decided that I wanted a bit more color. So I'm using some patterned paper from the Really Rainbow Petite Paper Pack. I adhered that to my card base first and then added some dry adhesive to the back of my reveal wheel to adhere this over that background panel. It just makes it so much more colorful and fun. And that finishes my reveal wheel card for today using the really great day set. I hope you enjoyed this card. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'm going to link two more videos in case you're interested in seeing more. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Bye everyone.